Good evening, folks, from Mountain High Angus Farms in Armenia. This is my consecutive video in English, which I'm trying to do more often now because uh, the English speaking followers of our channel, the number of them is growing, which is uh, really good for us. I want to encourage that. Uh, we are in Armenia. Uh, I know that our followers are, most of them are in the United States, uh, both coasts, east and west. Um, I know for some reason they're more from west coast. That's fine. Uh, we, we also have uh, followers from uh, Massachusetts, Texas, and other places. And, 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 um, and I really appreciate uh, that you're following us uh, in such a distance. Um, our Angus farm uh, in a distant Armenia. Uh, and, I, and I have to tell you that I do follow um, um, uh, a lot of channels uh, in, in your part of the world, especially on, uh, on, on uh, in cattle farming uh, and beef farming. And in actually this video, I'm gonna talk about some of that experience that we we tried here, and and I'm happy to report, and, and I'll I'll give the names too for those individuals that were following. Um, you know how much we appreciate their experience and how it helped us. I'm talking about uh, mob grazing and rotational grazing and regenerative grazing. All these techniques that we have practiced here and this is the result we got folks we are this is the northern part of our um, uh, pastures uh, we're in highlands uh, right now i'm in the the highest levels of our uh, our pastures it's uh it, it's 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 more than uh six thousand feet in, uh, in your system, it's above 2,200 meters above the sea level in, uh, in matrix system, in our system. And um, we had this, um, and this place is called the uh, Watermill Gorge. When you uh, type uh, Mountain High Angus Farms on Google Earth or Google Maps, it will bring you to exact location where we are um it's a dilijan national park it's uh uh it extremely diverse uh, vegetation but look we have practiced uh and followed the great judy uh uh um salatin joel salatin uh, Alan Savory, Greg Judy most of the time. It's a world-class uh, uh, specialist on regenerative grazing and practiced his uh, his techniques, his, 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 the way he was, you know, basically showing in his uh, channel, uh, which meant uh, uh, for us, um, uh, changing products every day. Uh, I have a joke uh, as a slogan for our farm where I think we have three main rules. Three main rules. Rule number one, change the paddock every day. Rule number two, change the paddock every day. And the most important rule is number three, change the paddock every day. That's it. If you don't change the paddock, you don't feed your animals. And we are a black Angus farm. And in this high, high lands and 100% grazing, nothing else. And here is the result of it. On the, on the end of summer, it's the uh, you know, last day of summer, 2002. And this is the amount of clover regenerated and all kinds of timothy and other grass. We have like 95 by the record in uh, Dilijan National Park. But <laughs> that, 
This is the pasture that our Angus grew for themselves. Using, however, the, the techniques that we learned from, um, from these individuals uh, and thank, uh, thank them, we thank them, of course, especially Greg. Um, this, is, this is the result. And the result of it also is significant because um, our pasture season is pretty long. Um, uh, like 10 plus months per year. Uh, last season we had, last year we had like 11 months pasture season, uh, which is remarkable. And uh, again, this is our highest point, 6,000 feet. Um, and, and then the re regenerated uh, pasture condition. We have down below the gorge and through the valley. Uh, it's you know th th we have we have uh, you know pastures that are coming back and when, once we pass this driest season of the year, which is August and then the beginning of September, then the humidity comes back and then we're having fogs, then we're having rain, and so our pastures are regenerated even faster and and then we have even better conditions this is the wars actually that i'm showing you people uh i mean i mean in, in the highlands in terrain like this uh you know it's very complicated as you can see we're surrounded by mountains uh, it's, uh there is a lot of water there is a river flowing down the, the gorge and, and actually it's a source for our uh, Black Angus uh, but it's, uh, it's just uh, the, uh, the, one of the reasons that we could uh, mimic uh, the nature and get these results that, you know and it's because of the um, because we're following uh, the channels of of your country uh, and really uh, uh, very good uh, experience thank you for sharing it of course and um, and it does work and it does work um, in this part of the world and actually uh, it works even better because again we're talking about um, we're talking about end of summer beginning of September now at this condition and this much uh, you know fresh grass no along with along with some of some of the old grass especially this Timothy or type of Timothy um, I am still in the process of evaluating the nutritiousness or the nutrient power of this uh, pastures but judging from the body uh, score condition of our cattle that you can see from the previous videos that uh, we have in this channel it's it's pretty good actually remarkable see look at this clover we have it's a red clover we have like six types of clover in this pastures uh, uh, rare ones that are you know really kind of wild mountain clover we discovered fields of oregano it's a wild oregano this is sort of flavorful and it's just great and when you pass by it just signals you can smell it here is the clover that is coming back uh and uh the the, the, the our angus Black Angus cattle just loves it. I can tell you folks that uh, we found this uh, place. Uh, I mean, we didn't find it. It's Dilijan National Park. You can Google it. Uh, it's in Armenia. It's with this extreme variety of vegetation place, all kinds of trees, 
you know, uh, uh, wild fruit and other type, walnut, uh, other types of nuts, acorn, oak trees and everything else. It's just great. Uh, long uh, seasons of uh, pasture and everything else. But uh, what we discovered uh, through Angus, that this is the one of the best habitat for beef cattle, especially Angus. I don't know if down the road we will experiment with other, any other breed, maybe. Uh, we're talking about uh, bringing in some sheep in order to be able to graze these highlands. Look, uh, part of our pastures that are not grazed because Angus can't climb and should not climb, but, but the sheep could. So we're not working on that, but this is the best habitat for the Angus cattle. And, uh, and, and, and not just I know, that I appreciate, they appreciate it, but I see how they appreciate it by the by the uh, uh, body condition scores that they are demonstrating, especially in this dry season. Uh, but because of these regenerated pastures that we have in uh, Watermill Gorge, Dilijan National Park. Armenia, uh, Mountain High Angus, um, uh, I appreciate your watching, just wanted to share uh, for our um, English speaking audience and just wanted to share this and I wanted to appreciate the experience, uh, we'll keep sharing it, what we see and what we have uh, and we'll keep encourage others to uh, uh, love farming, love their country, and love their land, and work their land. Thank you very much. Uh, please subscribe before you leave. Like if you want. We'll appreciate it. Uh, and we'll be there will be more videos like this uh, down the road. Thank you.